Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to this episode of my top six fragrances. In this episode, we are gonna go and look at my six classy fragrances in my collection. But I will let you know, there will be three honorable mentions that we will get out the way first. Most of these fragrances are designer and uh, I just want you to really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, just here we go. Let's start the honorable mentions. Here we go. Now the first honorable mention is Oscar for Men by Oscar de la Renta. What can I say about this fragrance? Well, if I didn't have so many classy fragrances in my collection, this would definitely be in my top six list. This scent is so elegant, so amazing, honestly. Like, considering this is a very inexpensive scent, you can really smell classy when you wear this stuff. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. You get this, like, blast of citrus, but it's also a very powdery scent. Um, it's very fancy smelling, very elegant. It's just got this really classy aroma, and I absolutely love it. It just definitely has to be in this list. So my first honorable mention goes for Oscar for Men by Oscar de la Renta. My second honorable mention is Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. Now this fragrance is no doubt classic, like if you look at old fragrances from the 1980s, this one is pretty much the one that you'll always be thinking about. A lot of people out there think that this fragrance has a very dated smell to it. I have to agree, it does have a dated smell, but if you can pull this fragrance off, you will still smell as timeless as ever. To me this fragrance smells like cinnamon, it's got amber, vanilla, it's got a bit of bergamot in there, absolutely beautiful fragrance honestly. And again, very inexpensive, and you can smell very, very elegant. So this is Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. Now my last honorable mention, guys, is a fragrance that I reviewed when I was in the United States visiting my girlfriend. Only this fragrance is an acquired taste, and I think a lot of you might be expecting this fragrance. Here we go. This fragrance is Jeffrey Bean's Grey Flannel. Now, like I said, an acquired taste. This fragrance is so unique, absolutely beautiful though, nevertheless. Like, if you like a lot of unique scents, you'll really like this one. It opens up with violet, it's also got a bit of geranium in there, and it dry down with a beautiful sandalwood and musk. This fragrance is absolutely beautiful. Very niche style scent, in my opinion. I think it smells way more expensive than it could be. Again, yes, this is another inexpensive scent but it's absolutely remarkable. If you can find this scent for cheap, I would highly recommend it in your collection. I think every collector should have this fragrance just because of its intention, it's the fact that it's a classic. You definitely need to get this one, guys. This is Grey Flannel. This is Grey Flannel by Jeffrey Bean. Now let's start my top six list, guys. Now within this fragrance list, I will be looking at fragrances that you can wear with a suit and tie, formal, but are also very, very casual. These are fragrances which I pretty much reach for whenever I'm going to a special occasion, whether it's a birthday party, weddings, etc. Now, the first one on this list, we're going to go to the house of Laura Baggiotti. And this fragrance came out in 1995, and it's called Roma Poromo. There are no words to describe this fragrance apart from positive. This fragrance is absolutely remarkable. It opens up with a very nice orange smell, but overall this is a very smooth vanilla type scent. Those of you who are aware of Minotaur by Paloma Picasso, you might actually like this fragrance. The fact that Minotaur is very hard to find, this fragrance is an amazing substitute. It's just a really nice scent, it's got great longevity, it really projects well on my skin. Uh, I just absolutely love this stuff. Just so, so classy. It's beautiful. Seriously. Give it a chance. Give it a try if you can find it. This is Roma Peromo by Laura Baggiotti. My number five on this list, guys, we're going to go to the house of Gianni Versace. And this one is one that gets sort of overlooked. It doesn't get enough praise, I think. And I just think that, again, this one is a niche type scent, considering the fact that it comes from the House of Versace. I'm not saying that the House of Versace is bad, by the way. I'm just saying that this fragrance smells 
like it should come from a niche style house, just like I said before. And this fragrance is called Versace Man. Now this fragrance, honestly guys, this is amazing stuff. It's tobacco-y, it's got some saffron in there, it's also got some amber. It's an absolutely beautiful fragrance. I absolutely love this stuff. It's very, very similar to Versace Pour Homme Oud Noir, in my opinion. So if there's any fans of that fragrance out there, you might just want to give this one a try, because I think that this one is better than Oud Noir. What I mean by it's similar than, to Oud Noir is the fact that I think it's sweeter, and it definitely lasts longer. This fragrance on my skin lasts about eight to nine hours, and it's just, it's blended to perfection. It's an absolutely amazing fragrance. And I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection because it's very hard to find and I got it for an amazing deal. So yeah, do give it a try guys. It's a very classy scent. This is Versace Man by Gianni Versace. My number four on this list, guys, we're going to go to the house of... Narciso Rodriguez. And this fragrance is called... The Him. Now I purchased this fragrance when I was in the airport uh, on my way to America and when I saw it I was immediately excited. I just had to get a bottle of this. Um, as soon as I put my nose to it the first time it was literally like love at first smell. It's got this very mature sort of smell to it. I mean it is inspired by a lot of the 1980s fragrances but it's a perfect sort of earthy fragrance. It's got violet in there but to me it kind of reminds me of the smell of wet cement. Don't ask why, <laughs> because when I smell this fragrance, I do. it does smell like a sort of construction site. It does have this earthy sort of rock, earthy sort of smell to it, but no doubt about it, it's so unique, so different, and it's so incredibly beautiful. If you guys can get this fragrance, I would highly recommend it, because I saw loads of people praising this fragrance on Instagram, YouTube, and seeing all those little videos and pictures that people were putting about this scent, it made me get this scent. So you really do need to try this scent out if you haven't tried it. This is Narciso Rodriguez for him. Now my number three guys, we're gonna go to my favorite fragrance house. My favorite for a, a big reason is the fact that it's unpopular and this comes from Jacques Bogart. And this fragrance is Bogart Porom. Now this fragrance is absolutely amazing. For the price, you can find this fragrance for about 20 quid. Seriously, it's, it's that cheap. But it doesn't smell cheap, if you know what I mean. This one, to me, has a beautiful, well-blended smell. It opens up with this sort of floral smell, but we also get a very cherry-type tobacco sort of scent. So if there's any fans of, say, uh, Michael Kors for Men or The Dreamer by Versace, you are going to worship this fragrance. It's so amazing. The longevity on this scent is a bomb. I get about 10 hours out of this scent. No joke, guys. Seriously, about 10 hours. And it smells amazing. So if you can get this fragrance, get it, please. Because I don't see a lot of people talking about this in any top fragrance lists. And I just think that it really deserves a bit more praise. So please do give it a chance, guys. This is Bogart Pour Homme. It is absolutely fantastic. My number two on this list, guys, we're gonna go to the house of Cartier, and this fragrance is called Santos de Cartier. Now this fragrance came out in 1981, and it tried to get as big as the likes of Kouros uh, by Yves Saint Laurent. In fact, this fragrance um, is actually preferred to a lot of people to Kuros. Um, personally, I find it very, very similar to YSL Kuros. So if you're into Kuros <laughs> and you're into the powerhouse genre, you're really gonna like this scent. But not only is this like a powerhouse scent, but it's also very classy. Obviously it's in this list. It just opens up very classy. It's got pepper in there, suede. It's even got a bit of leather in there also with a tiny bit of bergamot creating a bit of a citrus. But overall, this fragrance is the type of scent that I can imagine somebody with a cigar in their mouth. 
a real gentleman scent if you know what I mean it's just beautiful guys seriously this is a lovely scent that you cannot ignore it is a little bit pricey you are looking at say 60 pounds 60 to 70 pounds for this fragrance but sometimes it goes on on deals I managed to get this for about 40 quid and I haven't looked back there is also an intense version which is also very nice but I find that this version is stronger but that's just my opinion so yeah that is my number two on this list and it's Santos de Cartier by Cartier now guys, the one fragrance which I reach for all the time and it's made me go out and buy another bottle, I just had to get another bottle of this because I was running out because I wore it all the time and this is pretty much a scent that I wear every time I wear a suit and tie or whether I'm going out for a special occasion and it is the one and only and truly fantastic Jaipur Homme by Boucheron. I just don't know what to say about this fragrance, about it being totally brilliant. It's so spicy, but it's also got this very nice, seductive, smooth sort of smell to it. It's honestly, I just dropped the cap. Got it. It just opens up amazing, guys. Seriously, this one is spicy. It's woody. It's also got this very nice smoothness, which I said it's also got some vanilla in here. But it's a nice sort of cedarwood, ambery scent. It's just. Honestly, so, so beautiful. I, I worship this fragrance. Um, it's so, so nice that I actually got this for £20. Seriously, I went into House of Fraser, which is a department store here in the UK, and I saw that it was on offer. Um, sort of from the January sales from Christmas. It was must have been a leftover that nobody had bought. 20 quid for this. Seriously. And this fragrance is so, so nice, guys. If you want something classy and something very elegant, this is a one you cannot ignore, seriously. It's so, so beautiful. And I'm not talking about niche right now. I'm not talking about anything so expensive, like, that you need to smell, you know? This one is amazing, and there's nothing else like it out there. So please do give it a try. This is Jaipur Homme by Beaucheron. I really do hope you've enjoyed this list, guys. Please let me know what you think of it in the comments below, and I will get back to you. I hope you're all doing very, very well, and please, like I always say, keep smelling good. See you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye for now.